All right, welcome back, everyone. I fortunately am able to stream tonight. I wasn't sure if uh, the baby would cooperate, but you know, he pulled through for last minute. Um, tonight's stream, I think, is going to be more. Yeah, I hope. I think there will be no more shenanigans tonight. Uh, I think something that I had been putting off, but kind of was on the back of my mind is uh, seeing if our deck can handle the addition of Delighted Halfling. Now, this is a card I initially didn't take that seriously during the spoilers, but I know a lot of the Japanese lists uh, who have you know picked up our deck are playing a similar version. Granted, they're a little bit more all-in on De Delighted Halfling. I just want to kind of try a straight swap first and see how um, that turns out. One thing that it does uh, push towards is if we can utilize the colorless mana better, um, then obviously this thing, it's a, still a must answer, right? Because we could just cast a Grist or something. Um, I cut the second Shepherd for a third Bowmaster because that kind of alleviates or gets more value out of the Halfling and the second Shepherd was kind of lackluster anyways. Um, but aside from that, most of the deck is still intact. This is, um, and if there, unless there are there any questions, I'll just go ahead and pop right into the league. Uh, save time. Sure. I just reinstalled this version, so that maybe that's why I got a notification. But yeah, long story short. Uh, I want to see if our deck can handle the addition of Delighted Halfling because that makes our deck a lot stronger on the draw against uh, Bowmasters, which is in you know roughly 40% of the decks right now. Uh, now, do I think we need to do that to be competitive? No, uh, but I do think it makes a lot of the games on the draw a lot easier, and um, it's... I know one thing that we didn't do during the um, prior to the initiative era was we were running like three Waterwood and two Visionary just because we had nothing else to do and we're just winning any in spite of it, so to speak. Uh, I think I want to take a more proactive approach this time. I do think the second Shepherd is not really probably in the long term plans of this deck, so I might as well start experimenting now and seeing what we can kind of get away with, right? Uh, not to mention, I do think um, Halfling probably, if it's you know reasonable enough, right, because of the two toughness, also gives us additional play against Plague Engineer, which is common out of the the black decks, and it also gives us additional play against some of the Fury decks, right? Like if we have two, it's it's much harder for them to get a huge blowout. Uh, when they have Fury. Thank you for the follow, Duke uh, Drago. Uh, or Nuke Drago, I should say. Uh, here are my socials again while we're, we wait for our first opponent. Uh, if you like my content, uh, I think, or want to pick up the deck, I think the best place to start is probably, you know, watching the videos on Twitch or YouTube. Um, obviously, if you want to support me, uh, subscriptions on Twitch help or subscription on Patreon help. I think I would only recommend Patreon if you re are really serious, or actually, or if you just you know don't mind the five dollars, right? Like, I think if you want to pick up the deck, uh, then maybe look into that. Ugh, I feel like we're playing as a pox player, but I could be wrong. Okay, I have to readjust some of these. Uh, settings because I had a new, not new install, but like, for some reason, uh, the patch, I guess. Exalt, I agree. Exalted is very strong. Uh, I, I'm playing four tonight just for testing purposes. Like, I can imagine a scenario where like, maybe the Exalted is just too strong with like four of those, and then Halfling is like our secondary dork. I can see that. Like, four, two, or three, three. Uh, the the bar is set pretty high by ignoble. Like I, I think ignoble is very good. And 
Hey Andrew, how's it going? Um, I think it really depends, right? Like how, how oh my god. How it goes. I think it's one of those things where we're gonna find out pretty early on whether it's good or not too. Uh, this is obvious mole hand. Also, um, I know some big events are coming up this weekend. Uh, in particular, the showcase challenge is this this coming weekend. Um, I, for one, uh, will not be able to play, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, if you are trying to target me, so to speak, right, with opposition agent, uh, rest assured, I will not be playing. Um, but I will post my updated list, what I would recommend playing on Patreon. Uh, so we're celebrating our son's, uh, he's, he's turning, essentially, um, hitting a milestone with regards to the number of dates. So my in-laws' parents want to show him to their friends, essentially. What is going on? The big nombo, obviously, in this deck is Fiendars and... Uh-oh. Fiendars and needing... Um, looks like it's Hammer Time, maybe? Double Green. And Delighted uh, Halfling. Essentially, making only colorless. Maybe they're double queuing, I don't know. I don't understand why that took so long. Um, I think here we're gonna have to fire off the ones because of the canvas. Jesus. All right. Um, I think for our purposes here, we're gonna get a fetch. And the logic is, if for some reason they're playing Wasteland, um, I want to be able to have a turn two play. I, I think that the the floor scenario is that they go like Swords in a Wasteland, right? Then, then suddenly we get time walked. Now, it's unlikely they have that, but I, I feel like it's like somewhat free to play around here. Sure. What's going on? I'm a little nervous because like they have like instant spells. Because of the Thopters too, right? Like paying for Metallic Rebuke, for, for, for instance. There's a card I... Once it's Pawn Time played in Popper. I think we have to slam this now. Uh, we can't slam the Endurance. I'm just gonna play Fetch here. No, we don't have the mana for it. Under, sure. <sighs> the nice thing is, Artisan actually plays around Canonis kind of well. We have the mana to do it all year, but uh, we can get the collective. Player. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it, Andrew. Much appreciated. We're definitely gonna play the cradle. It's just, I want to think we play that. We're still 
sure. And I think we'd rather have the second. Well, debatable if we want the, the artisan out or the endurance, right? I think the endurance chump blocking the cannons could be pretty huge, though. So let's do that. The good thing or bad thing for our opponent, I guess, is he can still cast all their spells. I'm trying to think what I'm trying to play around here. Maybe they attack. I don't know. I think I'm gonna hit the engineer. I, I actually can play around this pretty good. Uh, I want to shut off their mana essentially. This might be a blowout, we'll see. Like, I don't think really I care about cannons here. With, with the Nards in play. I'm gonna hit this. Yeah, because then so the, the, with the collector, with it, it, like, it's telegraph too, so our opponent, to be honest, should have seen it coming. I mean, obviously, we could be bluffing, and maybe the logic is we don't have, I, I, they can't play around the bluff because it gives too much time. Like, that's entirely possible, but it, it definitely was telegraphed. Like, there's no question about that. Um, What do we care about, like, in this matchup? Uh, do we even care about Sh Shepard? Like, I feel like they're not really a blue deck. The lair is, like, not great, but I think the Shepard's probably worse. They, and it could have Wasteland. Like, that's co totally conceivable. Uh, I think this is fine. I typically don't like to bring in Cossies against some of these aggro decks, which I think they're on. I, I, it would not surprise me if they're on like retrofit or foundry, like given the, the how many doctors we saw, saw. That is the main appeal, that is correct, Inquisitor. That is correct. I think we keep here. The so X2 means it plays well. Not only against uh, Bowmasters, but also Fury and, and, and Plague Engineer. Long story short, I'm trying to like remove more and more weaknesses from the deck. So I think for play style here, um, what do we leave with? Halfling or High Arc? Uh, I kind of... I think the answer should be. What is the what are the odds that they have? I think here it's high arc because we don't have a colorless card to actually uh, make use of the halfling. So here we want to note the halfling was potential liability, right? But luckily we have the high arc here to bail us out. So essentially, the more colorless cards we have, the more this is feasible. The fewer, then the the more this looks horrible, right? Obviously, we could have just ran it out of bait too, but like, that's really annoying. Like, Although, I'm kind of surprised, like, Esper Saddle in this economy seems kind of sketch. It 
It does cast natural order. There is that. So I think what I'm gonna do here is just like run them both out, right? Like I cast natural order next turn. So it's still fine. No need to cast enough out just yet. Maybe they equip right now. They can tap the saga, tap the spring leaf, attack it, attach it to the construct. They have, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Alright, um, we don't have enough mana to do everything we want to do here, so I think the line is going to be, we're going we're gonna to cast natural, that's not even a question, it's just what are we killing here, uh, I don't think we care about the set now, right? I think we just take this offline. Sure, we, they can get the card draw. Nope. Oops. I'm gonna screw this up, I, I bet. I'm gonna misclick and it's gonna, I'm gonna tap wrong one of these days. Because of the colors matter. It's never had mattered before, but it probably is gonna matter now. We just had it all, right? Like, cha ching. That is a hell of an tracks a hit. Obviously, I could have just got the the oof, but it just looks so bad if my opponent like swords it or something. Uh, actually, I think I want to take this opportunity to probably just kill this thing now. It's gonna be annoying. What's well, free? So I cut that at the end. We might just get a concession here out of our opponent too. Yeah, all right. That was an uh, insane attracts a hit, um, but I mean, that's par for the course, I guess, for her. Um, so there, I think, I think good and bad, right? Like, uh, obviously we still used her to cast a natural order, but we did have to get a little bit lucky there with the noble um being able to like we couldn't i couldn't risk sequencing the halfling first unless i just want to bait removal um because it wouldn't have been able to cast anything in our hand uh obviously the more colors more, more cards in your deck that you can use colorless mana the better um right now we have let's see uh, the natural order was big right so three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven card eleven cards we can use. Well actually four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and occasionally reclaim Maria activation, right? Or Fina art activation. It it feels like it should be okay, but like uh, and obviously we we were able to cast a natural off of it there, but you know, at least on that turn two, 
or turn one, I led with the noble because I didn't have a colorless card in my hand, at least at that moment yet, that I can cast turn turn two, right? Natural order was a turn later. So maybe the natural order doesn't count. Uh, Sumerian. Uh, this opponent has been very friendly, I think, every time I've paired into them in the past. They're usually a ninja's person. Um, so here, the two ones. Endurance is not... <laughs> so our opponent here just says they love my content, which is nice. All right. um, I think here feels like a mole to me. Like what we're doing is we're doing turn two endurance. Is that like enough? And the arbor in the second, yeah, let's put it back. This is better. I think we're keeping this. Let's put the order back. So I think if you, based on one match, I would say it's a net plus so far, but barely, right? Like it, it potentially, potentially was problematic that second turn. But yeah, you get force me to pick a force me to pick an outcome. I guess we take another one. So something I'm noticing already is um, maybe it's okay, right? Maybe the split shouldn't be four two. Maybe it's three three. Uh, I don't know if I want two in my hand. Although it worked out in the previous match. Whatever that's worth. Sure. A fatal push here instead of bowmaster. Pretty big though. Pretty big. I don't know if ninjas are playing bowmaster. I'm assuming they are. And we cut strix already. I'm assuming that's the case. Um I think here it's like, do I go artisan on two? Or do I go halfling into um, and try to unlock my mana? I feel like that's probably better. It's a little awkward just running out artisan like naked. I don't love that. So our opponent said they'll come by after the match. And I believe them. Like, my encounters with this user have been very positive in the past. Like, I will remember some very positive uh, interactions. I know they, you know, um, I've had good interactions with them. I'll put it that way. Uh, maybe it's the, I forgot what it's called. There's a, a one drop ninja. Uh, here, I think we're just going to lead into Endurance. Obviously, it can get days, but I don't know if I... Okay, I think given that... All right, um, we can either run out the Endurance here and try to, like, snipe the Ornithopter, or... I'm trying to debate which one do I love better. The trying to, I feel like it's better to just play around the days, right? Uh, let's do it this way. I'm gonna go artisan into reclaimer. I mean, it drew out the removal, right? And I think you kind of have to from the other side. No, I want to reiterate. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't think we can be bowmaster. It's just that it's, it's a lot closer because if they're on the play and they bowmaster their turn one dork, there is a scenario where they like rip enough or chain enough spells in a row where that can go the distance. 
usually it doesn't, but if we draw poorly, they draw well, like, you know, it's not, it's more their uh, wheelhouse. Uh, okay, how do I want to board this matchup? I, I think I, like, removed this from my sideboard map uh, because I don't face it enough, but let me see. I did indeed remove it. Um, so I definitely think we want the Veil of Summers. And I definitely think we can collect, take out the Collector Oof. Uh, I don't think we need Bog. They're not really a Wasteland deck. Uh, Snuff Out is interesting, right? Like, it either does a lot or does nothing. Um, I feel like in this kind of matchup, I just want to make sure... I feel like they're almost like a combo deck. If we can take their, um, their ninja, we're probably doing okay. And all their ninjas are black, so Snuff Out is like dead in this matchup, so to speak. Um, anything else? I think this is fine. Uh, I think that's a mole. Um, I think one more action spell in the hand would have been good, but no, I'm not gonna keep that hand. Uh, this is like reasonable. Jeez, put the armor back. If we go turn one, um, like Thopter or something, I think we just seize it and you know. So obviously, Snuff Out is good to hit the Thopters, but if they had played the, the, the Changeling, then then the snuff out looks ridiculous, right? Like, like you just probably lose on the spot because you, because you made that play. Ponder, pro yeah. So here, I think we want to just obviously they can hide their uh, ninja on top here off the ponder, but I think we want to just go turn one C's and then um, take the ninja, right? They're, they're almost like a combo deck in, in a way. Don't daze me, bro. They might have to force. Is it their payoff? Yeah. So my guess is um, they probably have the payoff in hand and they're, where they're going to uh, ninja to in a, a ninja right now. That would be my guess. It's it because it's almost like they're a combo deck, right? Like, I I, I fully expect a ninja to come out here, like a Eureka or something, or the other one. Yeah. Okay. Here's Rio Rico. Um, that's fair. And then, so that's okay. We're a little bit behind, obviously, um, and Snuff Out wouldn't have mattered because, well, Snuff Out would have meant we could play a turn with Dork. I think we go... Just two, uh, two halflings here. Obviously, this plays around Bowmaster, which is pretty neat, too. Um, I don't, I kind of dig in it. So my quick evaluation, very rough, rough evaluation after, you know, one and a half matches, it's felt like an upgrade so far. But we'll see, right? Or at least, yeah, if, if we can live with the colorless man, it's, it becomes an upgrade, right? Uh, shoot. I think, I feel like a bow master is coming here, but... Who knows, right? Um, yeah. So the neat thing about here is like if they ha if that had been noble, they can bow master the thing and then 
get a free card, right? So it's it's already coming in handy. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Dark Blast? The halfway? Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, oh, okay. The minus is coming in now, right? We can't cast all our creatures because of a uh, scenario that we just mentioned. Question here is do we want Arbor or the. Um... Actually, I think we're going to play around top deck discard. So here it's hurting us now, right? My gut feeling is it's still worth it. Because it, it had our opponent had bull mass, so we'd be so far behind right now. I think this is the scenario where uh, if they attack with Yuriko, we're just going to throw all the blocks on it. Should I attack? No, because the retrofitter can can make a, a thing. I almost missed that. You can make a four four right now. This card's awful. Like maybe I should just cut this card. Every time I draw it, I'm like uh, completely underwhelmed. Mm, no blocks, I think. Ugh, that's a problem. We, we needed to fade that for a turn. That's going to be two draws here. Obviously, we, we don't expect to play this matchup. Otherwise, uh, Plague Engineer would be pretty decent. Ugh. Sure. At least now our Bowmasters can kill the Changeling. So question here is, what are we killing? I feel like maybe we want the shepherd just for blocks purposes. Oh, oh my god. Uh, well, that's a, that's okay. I mi I lost the thing though, but it is what it is. At least they don't get the card anymore. I just talked about it last turn too, and then I forgot again. Plague Engineer would have been nice, but it is what it is. This deck is like... It's almost like playing against the old school L's, right? it's just, like, it's a nightmare for control decks. I think I'm gonna 
This may end up real poorly for us, but we'll see. I don't want them to draw two here. If they have interaction, we're, we're pretty behind anyways. Maybe that's more reason just to play Snuff. I just hope to get lucky with the Ornithopter, right? It's zero mana as well. Um, so, like, there's definitely some argument for that. Like, Thoughtseize just feels tempo negative, right? Alright, we're gonna one. We're likely dead. But I think, if nothing else, I kind of lean towards bringing in, in, in Snuff out and I just like, hope to get lucky. It's just really awkward to just like try to strip their Eureka. Um. Okay. Maybe this game looks a little bit different if uh, if if, if Seize has been with Snuff out, right? Like we could have had the extra mana early. But there's always game three. Um, so our opponent here can just flood board now. Uh, they have four attacks. We have three blocks. And we're at one, so uh, they should just attack all, right? Like, it's known uh, full information, so to speak. Uh, yeah, let's make that change. Uh, I don't love it, to be honest, but... Like, this, this matchup is very much about flooding board, and we just fell behind there, right? Uh, do I want to force a bigger in this matchup? I feel like probably not. It's like card disadvantage, but not even. But, but we don't get any tempo from it. I'm not even sure Veil is like good in this matchup, too, to be honest. Because it's very, like, um, tempo-y matchup. Like, I, don't, I don't know how, many, how often I'm going to get it. To cast the veil. This is pretty good. It's turn two grist that's like force protected. That is annoying. This is what I mean, right? This is like the wirewood symbol of their deck. It's like kind of a nightmare for control decks to play against. So that makes sense. They they stay at two. They can still get the trigger off the doctor, and they they need to start pressuring our gris. Let's see what's going on here. 
sure. They should have actually attacked first. Did I lose a token? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Like, now I'm just not gonna block. Interesting, okay. Um, I think, well, let's see. I'm gonna main phase this, see what they do. That's force. Nope. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of impressed so far. It's not perfect, but it's, it, it, it's felt good enough. Like, obviously, there were there, there are times where it's like a little bit worse. But I think the security of, I think the, the extra toughness is pretty good. So far, at least. Ah, uh, this is a mole. I got two dead lands here. I think I'm gonna follow uh, Purple Umbrella. Like, the ability to just develop my board and just have not Bowmasters interrupt me, even though Bowmasters is not great, right? It's like, they're. But it's still some interaction, right? I can just, like, get off the board. They can't stop us. That's like a pretty big advantage. Even if sometimes it's, in particular, it's clunky with Fiend Like the casting of it. That, that's the only part, I guess. Uh, we're gonna hope our once hits and just curve out here. They're a lands player, I believe. I guess not. Halfling is pretty good. Or do we want a reclaimer? Uh, I think we take the halfling and just take the ramp, right? This is all like I, this, I don't want that, but like these two are both good. Uh, I think we take a ramp. Bolt, I think, right? Sure. I'm trying to get value here. Hopefully, they don't daze me. Sure. Um, the question here now is like, do I care to snuff that out? I think probably not. Like, it, there's a world here they murk tied us. I think we can take one hit. I think the line here is I'm gonna upkeep uh, endurance them. Ponder. Oh, I need to set a stop. That's really bad. This 
That, that could have cost me there. Yeah, I don't. I, I forgot, and that could have cost me. They could have easily just like drew force or something. I think we're pretty ahead. Okay. Uh, I... Um. The question is, do we attack here? I feel like we don't have any more. Um. I feel. Yeah, I feel like we attack. We can just like snuff out the insect operation if need be. That's a must force, yeah. So that's okay. Um, do we care? I think we just snuff out now. We're pretty ahead. We have pressure, we have another bomb in our hand. This might be a Murktide, but I don't think we care if it is. We, we have the answer already in hand. It's already game over. Yeah, they know what's up. I'm, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. Endurance there was pretty... We were lucky not to get punished because we, we clicked through essentially, right? Um, but, I, I mean, I think this matchup is like pretty fair. I think we're like 70% 30 now. Uh, I th for those who don't know, I think this is the best Cradle has ever been against Delver. And I think it's because of Bowmasters, specifically on their end. They have no pressure. Uh, granted, they could be on s straight blue-red there. But right now, I think we're severely, severely favored. Uh, I'm willing to take anybody 2-1 to one odds uh, if they want to money match me anytime. Uh, this one, if once hits, I think it's fine. Keep. We were in control the whole game there. I think here, we fetch safely into once, and then halfly into taking that sure bolt sure So we know whatever we play is getting bolted. Um, I think we still run out the halfway and the reclaimer. They probably bolt the reclaimer. I'd have to imagine. This hand is not particularly good because we, we open with two three drops. Maybe we just disrespect our opponent way too much in this game by keeping this hand. 
Obviously, any any hand with snuff out is like significantly better. So they miss. They don't waste us here, but. Okay. They probably bought the reclaimer, I have to imagine. <laughs> oh, they bought the halfling, interesting. <coughs> I guess they don't want us to put like a euro or something in the play, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe they're afraid, afraid of something like that. I think this is a scenario, they have two card types. Um, I think this is a scenario where we have to hold a bog. I don't want to lose the game. If they hit us for nine. And this is like kind of the dream start for them, right? And we. Unfortunately, did not open with snuff out, and this kind of happened. It actually makes me feel better about having the three third bowmasters now, uh, given that this is how we can lose games against Delver. And I think they're on the straight blue red, so far at least, which is I think a harder matchup than the black version because they're a little bit faster. I think the bowmasters build is like pretty bad into us. The, the losses I've had lately to Delver have been to Blue Red because their clock is faster. They're like Chain Lightning and whatnot. Or also Unholy Heat uh, can be relevant. Yeah, see, they're just trying to like one-shot us here almost. So the question here is like, do I trade my Arbor with their uh, DRC? Um, I feel like the answer is no, but I this is, this is kind of hard because I, I feel like we kind of have to have the Grist Resolve. Let's see, did we get days yet? I think we got one days. I think maybe we need to slow down the clock too. Actually, yeah, let's pass. I'll take the extra one and see what happens. All right, we might be rewarded here. We essentially just getting Delver, so to speak, is the only way that we lose against them. And they have like triple Delver start, more or less, right? All right, we're just dead. This is just kind of crazy. Sometimes this happens. Uh, we're on the play now. I think I still feel good about our odds. Obviously, we haven't seen any black spells from our opponent yet. I don't know if they're on black or not, but definitely, if they're on straight blue red, the matchup is harder. Because the, the, their clock is significantly faster. Also helps here that we're on the play and we just... They also had the, kind of the nuts. like And we didn't have the snuff out to like s slow them down. Um, I think we keep. We have, we have the snuff out, right?
question here is, do we artisan or do we reclaimer? I think we haven't seen any black. It's a little bit dangerous, but actually we can cast Gris next. Let's just hope, get Cradle. I think that's, I like that better than art, Artisan with no mana. Also, there is still a chance they have black and we just get ultimate punish if we see our opponent um, feels like Bowmasters here. You tell me they're running Stifle. That would be a disaster for us. Oh, I think they could be playing around our Bowmasters, which we haven't drawn. They could bolt us here too. They didn't, thank goodness. Um, Question here is what do I want to do? Um, they didn't kill the reclaimer, which is kind of interesting. Um, I kind of just want to play that, see what they do. Okay, the bright side is that tells us they didn't have the Bowmasters. Uh, there is a non-zero chance here. They don't have removal, otherwise they would not force. What do they pitch? They could have a... Um, they could have a, uh, a Merc Tide here, but I don't think so. I think we're pretty ahead. Yeah, I think they're on blue red. I'm trying to add just aggro's out. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, uh, cross visual. I think our line is pretty straightforward here. That helps. Um, I think we want to lead with the protection spell, so to speak. They force, we can bog. I want to make sure we can protect our grist. Sure. Uh, we're going to do it on draw step. In case they wanted to bolt something in response. Uh, I think I'm going to do it now. Bog. I 
And I think they are on blue red, right? Like we're tri we see triple volcanic island. They attack here. We are snap blocking. And then we have a Gris on an empty board. Yeah, we are snap blocking if they attack there. Uh, I think this might just close it out. I don't think I have threes, but I could be wrong. Yeah. All right, so far, so good. Um, all right, I'm going to take a quick restroom break. That uh, deck has felt very good. Cue this up and then I'll get some water. So we got cheese in two games, but I think the deck felt very good. Uh, and I, it's per, it's it's early, but I I think the change is gonna stick because uh, especially against the um, we we didn't know for sure they were on uh, straight is it until that game three, but the ability to just like not feel like you're gonna fall behind if they hit the dorks and the, if they chain that a bunch of times. I mean, it's still a, asking a lot from our opponent, but then it just breaks the game wide open if we just have like three mana on turn two. Scourge Altars. Why do I feel like I'm playing against Brianna here right now? Granted, the chances of playing against Reanimator is kind of high on, in leagues. Uh, Alright, I'm thinking about how this plays out here.
So even we draw a land, we go turn one Reclaimer, turn two Bowmasters maybe? I don't love this hand. Like this, this looks kind of like a mole already. I don't know if I want two bone masters. That means the reclaimer's not doing anything to. Um, well, I think we can do better. This is a lot better. Uh, he. The question here is now, what are we putting back? Uh, we're on the draw. Obviously, artisan gets worse here. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, uh, Max. Um, this is a, a little bit awkward now. For the same, this is the Namba I'm talking about. Um, let's do this and see. There's a, a world where they're Delver. I, I certainly regret keeping that in natural order. I feel like we're there on Reanimator. Like, the, the, I may, but I, I guess not. Could, looks like Grixis, maybe. Any event. Um, I think we want to play around both Wasteland plus Bowmasters here. Yeah, see, the fact that they have to use Bolt, I don't know if they uh, have it, if Grixis or not. The fact that they can just play, do that instead of playing two power plus a, a removal spell is pretty huge. Yeah, see, they're the Wasteland doing nothing now. Oh, they missed the attack? Is that what happened? Um, I think we, I feel like we just play it safe, right? Like, um... I'm just gonna ramp. They can waste us if they want. They almost certainly will waste our. Order. Obviously, they could cast technically Bowmaster out the wasteland too. And that had the equivalent effect. But I don't think we care if that's the case because we've now developed our mana safely into the mid game. Um, and then we can hopefully, like, obviously, the, the worst thing that can happen to us right now is like they're holding force for the artisan, but we can just draw another business spell. We'll know right now if they have Bowmasters or not. Yeah, okay, so they did that. Otherwise, they would go underground, see, hit our dork, right? Sure. Looks like they're missing lands. This is almost like a must force. There's an argument to be made. I want to put the cradle there. Actually, that might have been better, to be honest. I, I kind of regret that, actually, in hindsight. Because if they waste our cradle, we still have mana uh, to get endurance. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a mispl misplay on my behalf, for sure. Because then we want the, art, uh, the creature, right? I still get it here, but it's not nearly as good. Um, I don't. Luckily, is I don't think it like we got super punished or anything. This 
this is going to set them back into the Stone Age. They need to be careful. They're going to like run their DRC into my endurance too. Yeah, they can. We have a second endurance. I made one mistake earlier. I, I definitely should have played the Cradle because if they waste him, I still can t make the play that I want. Mm, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. This is kind of cheeky from our opponent. Um... They're, they have four up uh, to dodge. Yeah, I, I'm getting punished now for not playing the for playing the cradle there. The question here becomes, how afraid am I mer of Murktide? I could get Gris an uptick. I wonder if that's better than getting... Um, I wonder if that is better than getting uh, Bowmasters here. We're going to go to three to at least pretend like we have Plague Engineer. The thing is, it shuts off their cantrips too if we... Um... Actually, yeah, let's get Gris. Yeah, 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 obviously, because the green creature is irrelevant. They may just like... Attack both, and then like Bowmasters the Grizz or something like that? You can see that being the line. Obviously, here it would have been nice to have the uh, the bowmaster trigger, but I think Gris puts on way more pressure. My, my guess is they attack both, they lose one, they bowmaster the Gris. We, we would have won earlier if I had sequenced better and played out the Cradle instead of the Fetch. Yeah. 
I feel like we're pretty ahead, but I, I could be wrong. They could obviously have force, but I don't think so anymore. Um, yeah, that's plus here. We just got to fade drawing the tracks of here, right? That's fine. It's probably over right now. Yeah, okay. We we made up for it. The the one shepherd is like still very huge. I don't think we can go to zero. It's just like the uh, the ability to make Everything uncounterable is just like two notes, I think. Uh, that was harder than it needed to be. I think we run away with that game if we if I don't get a little sloppy. All right, this looks good. I think it's fair to say you can pick up your half length based on everything we've seen so far. All right, thank you, Andrew. Appreciate you uh, dropping by. Um, as always, uh, appreciate the uh, the thoughtful comments. That is the mole. This is a keep, and we will put back the snuff out because it is turned off, anyways. I think an obvious question I'm gonna get is like, do we still want the ignobles? Oh my god, why did they keep that hand? Um, it's gotta be this, right? Is do we want Gilded Goose or uh, or ignoble? I think we want ignoble. Gilded Goose not being repeatable is a major flaw in my opinion um all right how do we want to do this um i think this is one of the scenarios where again we can't cast the bow masters right but i think that is okay uh outside of something like fury i think the game is going to be over next turn Uh, Alright, 4 0. So far, so good. I uh, guess we're trying to wrap it up. Yeah, I, I, this is like, it looks pretty good, I think, the, uh, the halflings. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong, like, but it is. There's a big difference between having three mana on two and not in the, in the face of a, a, a bow master economy. Now, am I saying Noble Harg is, like, finished? I mean, maybe in the current meta, but I don't think permanently. Things can change, right? No worries, yeah. We got one more. We beat three tempo matchups, and I don't even remember what they're on here. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what they're on. Oh, um, some kind of affinity shell, I guess. I think the card is like 
bad against us. It's only good on the play on turn two and kill our dork, right? Like, it, otherwise, it's like, I think it's like pretty bad against us. But, I mean, or mediocre is probably the right word, right? Like, a lot of times it just does nothing, right? They kill a meaningless creature that late in the game, for instance, right? It's only good when they're on the play and they kill us our dork on turn two. That's like the one time I think it's like pretty annoying. But outside of that, oh, also the fogging is kind of annoying if, if like we're in this racing situation, but that's about it. Yeah, I, I do not think Bowmasters is, is good against our deck. On average. Like, obviously, on if they're on the play and they kill our turn one door, it's, like, pretty good there. But they still have to chain, like, spells the rest of the game, right? Like, they essentially waste the two mana to kill our one mana thing at the end of the day for two power that's going to get in there a few times before we stabilize with a Reclaimer or Fiend Artisan. Now, obviously, if they chain the, you know, four or five removal spells in a row... That yeah, the, the two power is gonna really add up, but like on the draw, it's pretty awful against us. Chickers. I do not know what our opponent is on. They're on Yorion. Uh, I think we keep in the dark. Could be a DNT, like this feels like a DNT name. Um I think we're gonna go turn one by you Green Sun. Turn two Gris, maybe. The other thing is like, regarding, uh, I know it's gonna get brought up, Some, somebody's gonna bring up like Gilded Goose, right, for the last two spots. Like, as, like how much margin do we need like in this matchup? Right? I feel like we're pretty heavily favored already. Like the games, were, especially the games were on the play, like the games don't feel close. What is going on? All right, uh, ramp. Ideally, we can just like go turn to like Gris or something, right? Obviously, it's annoying they waste us here. Oh, I did not expect that. That's what are we playing against? Hmm, interesting. That is awkward. Uh, I wonder if that's a Bowmaster and they didn't kill our dork? No, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to respect Days here. I don't think they're playing Days in an 80 card deck. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, it doesn't seem right to me, but you never know. Sure. Drop. We tick up, yes sir. Or yes, man.
did not foresee that coming. Um, Stone Rain is pretty good. Sure, ooh, our endurance is gonna get some value. In case they have something weird like days. Feels okay so far. Let's not let's hope our five will run to go dry here, so to speak, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but... Feels like we need to start really applying the pressure. This snuff out feels bad right now, but what can you do? Okay, well, if they have a bow master team, that'd be awful. Um... I don't think we can run, as a result, run our uh, arbors in, but I think we can run everything else in. We are running out of gas, for what it's worth. Oh, wow, okay. I was a little bit nervous. The snuff out was reserved for the Yorion, but that was about it, right? Like, they're gonna, they can't even cast Yorion. Actually, they can. So they're gonna Yorion here, but then they probably expect us to have something in our hand. So maybe they're giving us a better of the doubt. Uh, that's the only thing I can explain. All right, uh, how do we want to board against this matchup? I th think we definitely cut the collector oof, cut the snuff out. We didn't see any creatures. Uh, I feel like this is a seize matchup and maybe even a God of Teague ma matchup. Um, doo -doo -doo. Endurance, yeah, I don't love it. Uh, maybe one at the most. To deal with the endurance, like it was good. It, it was good that I, like this killed the. Uh... It was good there to hit the the Uro, but like I don't know if I want it. God of Teague is suddenly a lot interesting, more interesting in this shell because of the the ways to cast it now. I don't think this is a veil match. We can try and see how it works. Um, shoot. I think I would keep otherwise. Again, we have this little Nambo in our hand. Maybe it's okay. I 
I feel like they kind of have to kill the, the halfling for what it's worth. I, th I think their deck run a wasteland too. I, I don't know. It's like very hard to say. This is the Archon deck, I guess, right? Archon deck. Well, that certainly is a thing. So if they don't kill the halfling here, they have an uncounterable goods. We have an uncounterable Gris. Nice. Uh, there's a decent chance they have like a ley line binding or something like that. I don't know. I think here we're just gonna go ahead and get the Gris online. This is kind of sick. They might just ley line binding it, which is. Okay. they supreme us here it's like kind of bad i wonder if that's reason to hold back i feel like if we hold back we're probably losing it anyways so let's just hope they don't have it Ring, okay. It's fine. I think the line here is we want an uncounterable natural order. Well, actually, hold on. Ideally, I would have been able to get Gris here. What I could do... Okay, I'll, if we're under the assumption... If they have a sweeper, we lose. Uh, Halfling has not cast a Traxa. Oh, we can get God of T. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay, that that's that, that's the call. I I am uh, I overthought it. What are, what are we doing here? We can get God on Teague. What are we doing here? Like I, I the thing was I was looking to get a cradle too. And this does both, right? We get God of Teague, we don't get swept for, like, randomly. And they can't play more rings. Alright, they just... Woohoo! This deck is fire! Alright, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I, 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 I am pretty impressed. Oops, where did the, the thing go? 
Here, this is my collection. Yeah, I, it was, it felt kind of easy to be honest. Uh, and the God of Teague, oh my God, that was uh, pretty good. Uh, what, I guess we'll go back to the deck right now, right? Like, would there, was there anything I would change? Like, it's, the numbers felt pretty good to me. Like, I like the mana base. Like, I always played the, probably the... I think out of everybody I know who's on this deck, I had the most conservative slash, like, cleanest mana base, I think. I think the only way this, get, this mana base gets cleaner is you cut the layer for, like, a 12 fetch, but even I'm not that psycho to do that. Uh, I think the Shepherd won a game, uh, so I like that one still. The Halflings were impressive, even though they are a non I will admit, with the Artisan from time to time. I think the ability to just like guarantee 3 mana on 2 is just too good. And I think it's worth the non in the mid-game, potentially, because if you had an art, I can't... I don't feel safe running an Artisan out anyways, uh, when there's no creatures in the yard. Like, you, I, I will do it if I have to, but like, it, it's not ideal. Uh, we had the Uncountable Gris, which is pretty nice. Um, the numbers felt really good. I don't know about the snuff outs made. Maybe it's just a necessary evil for the higher uh, instant count and just not get cheesed by like them knowing we don't have removal. Uh, sideboard, I think the numbers felt good. We never drew a veil, but I, I think I like these numbers overall. And um, anybody have any questions for me? Like the, that league, man, I think the deck felt looked pretty good on paper. Uh, did this? Yeah, I did. It, even in this match, right? We had a reclaimer in hand that we couldn't cast because uh, it was colorless mana. So I think there was a turn where we had four mana, and we could have pl we played like a artisan and a uh, and reclaimer, and we had a, another halfling in hand that we couldn't cast. But I think my my verdict on that is like. We've already gone into the mid game. If we're short of one mana, maybe in the mid game, that's better than being short mana on turn two. So I'm okay with that, so to speak, right? Like it, it did get in the way once or twice. And, but I think the, the thing is, if you've gone to that stage of the game, you're probably favored. So I, I'm, I think I'm okay with that trade off. Uh, anybody have any other questions? I'll probably Ray Romario, um, friend of the stream. Uh, if there's no other questions, I definitely will post this on YouTube. But this deck has this deck definitely feels sick. Like the halflings are. You're not. Yeah, I mean it. It is. It did come up, but the for what it's worth, we won those games, and there were scenarios where I was scared to run out for whatever for whatever that's worth. My dorks, and the ability just to go turn one halfling is just. Pretty big, I think. Like, given endurance uses colors, given green sun, given bow masters, I think the novel in the sometimes the sometimes novel is offset by the fact that three man on two is just insane. Um, but we'll see. We gotta test it more. But it, it looked pretty good to me today. Like, we even cast natural with two halflings because it was two colorless mana uh, in the first round. But Anybody have any questions? Here are my socials again. I think this too many times, but we did get the 5 0. Here, a quick summary of the matchups. Um, I don't think I would change anything from this list tonight. It felt really smooth. Uh, we beat uh, some kind of affinity deck. Uh, Ninjas, um, Blue Red Delver, Grixis Delver, and then like 4C Control Ring, like Lose to God T dot deck. Uh, yeah, okay, that felt pretty good. I think, um, let's go ahead and raid Romario. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I think I will post this uh, league up once I get the chance. All right, see you, David. And congrats again on the uh, the new tat. I, I like that. You Well, you already know how I feel, but I really appreciate your kind words uh, via the DMs. All right, take care, everyone.